Now with our overview finished, I wanted to point out one of the limitations. While quick and easy, the overview does not do any blending of the images. So zoomed in here in our overview image, I've annotated a point where we've got four different images all coming together. And you can see there's quite a noticeable seam between the images. To overcome that, we can change to our tile scan modality. Within tile scan, we'll intentionally overlap each imaging field of view so that the algorithm has some landmarks within our sample to use for the merging. If we activate merge images here in our tile scan dialog, we can go in and control the speed and precision of our acquisition and merger. And then within our basic settings, we can turn auto stitching on, which I strongly recommend if you're going to be stitching these together in the end. And you can control between a smooth and a statistical overlap blending. Smooth works well for most things I've done. Also, this auto crop feature I like to use. The auto crop feature will take care of any black spaces around the edges of our final image just with a simple crop feature. It's quite nice. So to set up a tile scan. We can hit our live feed again on our camera. I'm going to best fit that window here with the click of this button. And now similar to our overview we could mark the top left, the bottom right of our field that we'd like to capture. But what you could also just do is look through your sample and find areas of interest. So you could say you know this is a really important field of view for the work I'm doing. I'm going to mark that position with our far left square within a square mark position option then you can move through the sample further and say you know what actually this guy over here this is really important it's super boring I apologize my sample's not more exciting and then again you know I could say well you know this little corner over here it's all jagged I wanna I wanna capture some of that in this experiment as well so we can mark that position and Again, we get our grid within our image. This time, each of those grids is a smaller grid than the previous one because each one overlaps about 10 or 20 percent, depending on what you've selected within the software. With all our positions selected, we can go ahead and hit Start. The acquisition will begin. So the system will quickly move through and image each of these positions. You can control how much is overlapping, so if you aren't getting the appropriate quality of stitch at the end. You can increase that overlap to try to give yourself some more information to work with. Also with the auto stitch we get a beautiful image that pops up that will give us access to the, the final image. If we go back to our projects tab you can see the merging and cropped image has been created. We also have our tile scan with all of the individual areas. So all these stage positions here on the bottom are also saved as part of your raw data. So you could always go back and redo the merging if you'd like, or be able to isolate individual stage positions for analysis or review.